Back here in the studio with Samson and Charlie Johnson. Samson's getting ready to go shred, so uh, we got to keep this short and get through it. But uh, Charlie, you guys got a lot going on. We talked about some of the improvements to Coop Creek Square in general here. Um, a local's favorite is Carver's Bakery, which has moved to the other end of town, but we still have the space right out behind here. Yeah, we can't call it the Carver's Bakery anymore because we have a new tenant that oh, just signed a the lease. Yes, we're, uh, we're working on some improvements to the property still, and uh, hope they hope to be open. It's Sweet Sensations Bakery and Mickey Adkins oh, so out of we will Grand have a bakery Lake. Back in there. Yeah, out of Grand Lake is the the new tenant, and couldn't be happier for uh, Mickey and for Sweet Sensations and and for the Carver's building now, the Sweet Sensations building to have some new life. We know that that oh, was, that's exciting because that, yeah, that building's been, been dark for a long time. So. Is uh, Sweet Sensations? Does this be a second location for him, or is this a second business for the owner? No, it's just an expansion. She was working out of her home. Um, oh, gotcha. And, okay. and just expanded and kept growing organically and was kind of Sweet She was sensations. doing what she what she loved out of her home as kind of a hobby that developed into a successful are, business. Are we a little too early to pro project or open dates or anything like that? Yeah, is it, it is. I'm so not this just kind of sure went exactly. down. So Yeah, yeah well, that's we very just, exciting. just signed the lease, but I know she's anxious to get open as, as soon as possible. So yep. we're, um, we're, we're really excited about it and just and really like Mickey. She's a great person and um, excited for her business. Think it's going to be good for Cooper Creek and for Winter Park. Yeah, that's fantastic. So. Winter Park, we talked about Bob Thanch taking over the two ends of town. You're going to be improving this this part of town, which we're all looking very much forward to. I think there is something else, uh, development going on down by the Winter Park. Um, there's a lot of expansion to Winter Park, the town, and I know yeah. a lot of people say, hey, come on. Uh, we're hearing a lot of people say, well, you know, Winter Park's a lot more condos, a lot more developments, you know, can they handle those people? And I know the ski hill isn't just all there is at Winter Park, you know. Yeah. It's going to be fun to see our town boom, you know. Yeah. I think we're going to see a lot. Oh, of and I think that there's so many good things happening for Winter Park right now. I mean, the the prospect of the ski train coming back. Yep. If that happens, it's going to be awesome for Winter Park. It's the only place in North America, I believe, that at least in the United States that you you'll be able to fly into a major regional airport, Denver International Airport take a light rail to Union Station and then yep. jump on a train and come to a world-class ski resort. Carless, I mean, cabless, just, just get right here with it. Yeah, it's, it's, an, it's an unbelievable offering and I think it's going to um, create a lot of positive um, news for Winter Park and, and a lot of attention for Winter Park, both the resort and, and the town. I really believe that as the resort strives and, and has more skier visits at the resort and summer visits at the resort that the town is going to benefit and as the town gets better at attracting visitors to the town of Winter Park that the resort is going to benefit I was going to say well. we, we benefit from each other so much up there yeah. and I know you've even worked uh, oh he's oh, in your lap now hey this could get romantic on, quick <laughs> but uh so, so I know you've even like uh, been good communication with Gary DeFrange, the CEO of the resort. Yeah, I wouldn't say good communication. Just just uh, met with Gary for the first time last week and just had a Did really, it go it was well? a really nice no, meeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no he's a great, a great guy. Yeah, he's been he's on our show nice and uh, just a wonderful community member. Yeah, and so I know it's, it sounds like you as well. Everyone's got the this is yeah. getting really. And he, uh, has, and he has a really long history with, <laughs> with the Greater Park. Come here, buddy. Getting romantic. Come on. Come That's on. okay, Come on. Samson. Yeah. Uh, it's all right, Samson. We're all friends here. Um, so yeah, Gary has a super long history with yep. Winter Park, and you all so have uh, you know make the it town. It was cool to learn about some of that. He's trying to get all the there way out there. Go. There you go. Now he's comfortable. <laughs> hard to and imagine. So, uh, did you foresee it's, there ever being a train station or a hub or anything in town? With it's hard it? to believe that you guys just met, you yeah. and Samson. Well, he smells my puggle apparently. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, your, your question. Uh, yeah, with the train coming to town, do you think there'll be uh, some room for a hotel or a train station or some sort of like kind of core spot? I know we're close to it here with the train tracks right behind you. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. I know there's, there's a, the existing Amtrak station in... I think, I think Sam's going to take over the interview. In Fraser, <laughs> In Fraser, and then um, the, the spur at the resort, and then there's one in, in Granby as well. Yeah, so... It, what else do we want to share about Coop Creek Square? Let, let's plug it. What's uh, what's really exciting to you right now? What's your? I shouldn't say what's your favorite restaurant. Where would you eat dinner tonight? Free plug. Um, well, there are so many good <laughs> good restaurants, but all I, are I great would say options. We would stop for a happy hour snack at, and then go to. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, tonight my fiance is coming up, so we're gonna have a nice sit down dinner at Da Vinci's. 
There we go. Yeah. Free plug for Leo. Uh, da Vinci's is a fantastic stop. Uh, I think we're going to pop in for a little happy hour this evening after a good day of skiing at Casa Mexico. i uh, got to give Esteban a little love as well because I yeah. love, love those margaritas at happy hour. Um, but, uh, yeah, once again, Charlie Johnson, owner of Cooper Creek Square, and these guys are wonderful to us. We're so appreciative for the space we have here and the 20 shops and restaurants. We've got uh, the free parking, so you can come park your car, and you're here for the day. Hop the bus to the ski resort, come back for happy hour, and spend uh, spend dinner here. Yeah. Uh, so definitely come back, be on our show again, and uh, great, to, great to meet you finally, Charlie. Yeah, thanks, Ryan. All right, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back uh, in a little bit here. See you shortly. <laughs>